So, 2017 starts off with an Underworld movie. What an interesting way to start. Hopefully it's good. Hello there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Underworld Blood Wars. The film stars Kate Beckinsale, Theo James, and Charles Dance. So Underworld Blood Wars is about when Selena must end the eternal war between the Lycans and the vampires. Yeah, that's really all you need to know about this movie. Um, Underworld Blood Wars is a film that I mean, I was kind of hoping it would be a guilty pleasure because if I have to be honest with you guys, the first one I think is actually pretty good. I actually enjoy the first film, but then the sequels, I consider them to be guilty pleasure fun, which even includes Underworld Awakening. Yes, I know, the film that I think got the most panned from everyone. I actually think that's guilty fun. It's still not a good movie. It's terrible. For sure it's terrible, but I still found a lot of entertainment value with that one. And so because I've had such guilty fun with this franchise, I was hoping Underworld Blood Wars would be the same thing. I was hoping I would find a lot of entertainment value. And in my humble opinion, this is legitimately the first Underworld film I could say legitimately sucked. And not in a so bad it's good. No, I mean it just flat out sucked. This is by far the worst in the franchise in my opinion. This is the least entertaining in the franchise. And this might actually have the worst direction in the franchise. This is by Anne Forrester. I believe this is her first movie. Yeah, not exactly a good way to start off your career, but Hopefully, she'll make a better movie in the future. Now, for positives, Kate Beckinsale still looks like she's having a lot of fun. She looks like someone that hasn't lost any sense of what Selena's all about. Kate Beckinsale is still a great presence. Not to mention, yes, she's beautiful to look at, especially in the, that leather outfit. Theo James actually isn't that bad here. He's actually quite good, to be fair. He's not that bad. And Charles Dance. I actually really liked him. I thought he was really good. Um, everyone else? Yeah. I'll say the cinematography was actually very well shot for this film, although at times it is a little too dark, you couldn't really see what was going on, but for the most part, I think it did have some good cinematography. The action scenes, when I'm able to see it, even with some of the distracting quick cuts, it actually is very well done. The problem is that it doesn't really come in until like really the last like what 40 minutes of the film i believe but when the action's there for the most part i was actually very entertained when it came to the action sequences that's all i can really say as far as positive wise goes because underworld blood wars oh man this movie is a complete mess and i hate this movie the more i think about it because this um, franchise, you could say, does have a special place in my heart. I've grown up with this franchise. Like I said, I like the first and the sequels turn into just guilty pleasure fun for me. But to actually watch an Underworld film that's so lifeless and lacks any fun, it still could have been horribly written. But if it had the entertainment value, I could have forgiven it like with the others. But the problem is that this film is so boring you really don't get enough of that stupid action that i'm known for seeing with this underworld franchise even awakening which once again i know gets a lot of flack and i can understand why but even there was enough action in that one for me to have fun i literally have to wait really just for the last 40 minutes to get some action out of this damn movie you only get like maybe one action sequence in the beginning and then you have to wait a long period of time and if the story was interesting I, that wouldn't be a problem but here's a problem the storyline is a complete and utter mess this movie in the beginning there's a whole recap every single event that happened in the Underworld franchise. And even me being someone that has seen all the Underworld movies, I'm still confused. Like, 
The way they execute it, they make it so confusing. The acting is terrible. Aside from Kate Beckinsale, Theo James, and Charles Dance, everyone here is just so awful. And Anne Forrester did not have very good direction with this film. I was so surprised with how bad the direction was. Even the action was hard to get into because I did like the action for the most part when we get into this big war in like the last 40 minutes, but it gets way too quick cutty with the action. Whoever edited this film did honestly a terrible job because it's not like the action is really shaking and I'll give this film that. I'll be fair. This film wasn't really shaky. But the problem is that it's the quick cuts. The quick cuts make it hard to enjoy the action even more. There are some good sound editing when someone shoots a gun, but the way Ann Forrester directs this film and just certain ways that the film would be edited, even some of the camera angles I thought looked pretty bad too. Oh man, talk about declining with visual effects because, you know, it's sad, but when this franchise started, the visual effects were actually great. And then as each installment seems to go, it seems to slowly get worse. By Awakening, it definitely got really bad. And with Blood Wars, it might be just as bad, if not worse, than Awakening. Because, wow, they really jumped the shark with the visual effects here. Oh, man, this movie is so boring. I can't tell you how many times I was yawning during this film. The action, like I said, is definitely the best thing about this film. But it takes a long time. There are some violent moments that did make me go, oh, that was awesome. But... Like I said, not enough of that entertainment value. At this point, I don't want to see any more Underworld movies. If they do make a sixth one, I hope it could be back to being that guilty pleasure fun, but Underworld Blood Wars was just a sad, sad installment to add to a franchise I consider to be a guilty pleasure. This is not guilty pleasure. This is just straight up terrible. And I'm gonna give Underworld Blood Wars one and a half out of four stars. So you guys in the comments down below let me know what you think about Underworld Blood Wars. This is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.